Good evening, squishy people. Neo Beowulf and their squishkins. And today we are going to play some Song of Horror. Not Song of Horrors, but Song of Horror. Song of Horrors, Little Shop of Horrors. I don't know, something along those lines. Saw it on Steam, thought it looked good. Was saying we were gonna try it, and tonight we're, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what it's all about, I hope. I hope it's horrifying. I hope it's scary because there's a very distinct lack of good scary games. Uh, it's good. Would you like some Pepsi Squish? Bloop, 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 bloop. So if Alinity can give her cat vodka, you can have a little Pepsi. I guarantee it will hurt a little bit less. I don't think sugar hurts the kitties, but I would never actually do a Squish Pepsi. Would never actually do it. Or yeet him across. Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> Ain't right, Squish. We can shoulder a Squish. We can rough up a Squish. We can knead the Squish on the desk and rough him up a bit, and it's all good. Because mm, the Squishy loves us. Hello, old Geo. Hello, Solitaire. Welcome, gentle folk of the YouTubers. I'm playing. We're going to try some Song of Horror River. Horror River. Horror River. Horror River. Flimsome Dipper. Uh, bring up the reality eraser. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, says, says I. Oh, I hate that I have to alt tab out of games. I hate it when it turns off the music when you alt tab out of games. I don't know why. It's just. I don't know. It's just one of those things that kind of annoys me. Yeah, cook it a squish. Cook it a squish. New game, Prelude, a Friday like any other. That should be the name of the next Friday movie. A Friday like any other. <laughs> Not Final Friday or Freaky Friday or Last Friday, whatever they're calling it. But a Friday like no other. Some poetic shit, bruv. stream and make sure it all runs nice and schmooze. I put everything on ultra, so we'll see what happens. Funny enough, I think this same thing happened in Prey. playing random games until Watch Dogs Legion. I've just been playing random games in general because I don't know what the hell else to play, man. It's been it's been pretty dead for games. So what we planned on doing is let's see, Song of Horror which we're going to start tonight. Uh, September 30th Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. Eager to check that out. And then, I don't know, we'll go from there. What's up, Ellen Wake? No, it's not Alan Wake. I know it's not. Daniel's apartment. Squish's apartment. When I get home, Pepsi I too feel up my face. Just all up, just all up in my own grill. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. Um. Da -da 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 does my stream have the most awesome people in the chat? Hell yes it does, bro. Hell yes it does. Hey, streamer, you play Fortnite? No, motherfucker. Good old... Oh. Resident evil -y cameras. Oh, oh, he's got a pretty nice place. He's got a nice flat. I believe he's British. Squish, get out of the way. Hello, Brian. Nice to see you. Playing oh, some crikey. song. Seriously. Oh, crikey. Oh, he's Australian. I don't know. Squish. Australian for cat. Hello. Daniel, it's me again. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Says name is Etienne. Joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found. And his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. I don't 
Don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road, in the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Oh, that's how it all starts. Ah, just go check on it. Again. Him. Can't be back in no time. Working as an errand boy. Come on, I didn't even get to check on my apartment. Over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Wake Publishing Shit. told you, Alan Wake. And I should be too important for that. Mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. I don't know, his little backstory there seemed kind of like out of place. Like he just got in his car to go do a job and just he flashes back on his freaking divorce and how he used to be an alcoholic because that's what I do when I get in my truck to go to work. He's just like flood in with all the regrets of my life. real audio hopefully this game is easy on the cliches we'll see P -p 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 prelude so when I was looking at this game it looked kind of like it was gonna be a nice mix of you know uh, Resident Evil fixed camera you know like the old-school Resident Evil fixed camera deal and Maybe, um, like, Visage. Tricycle. I didn't know Husher had kids. Oh, I really wish everything was, was red. I like that the mouse moves his head. Why take the side door when I could go in the front? Because the front's always locked and it tells you to go to the side door. Okay, holding shift makes us go a wee faster. The murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Hello? Don't do it, dude. As soon as that door shuts, you're... that music? I'd better take a look. Ah, mouse is the camera. Okay. Light source. Each character has their own lights. Each character. Turn it on and off. Press F. And then use the mouse to aim the light. Okay. Your light source, most importantly, your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you like. Well, fucking thank you. Can, oh, hold escape. My bad. Is that someone playing a music box? Why do you got your flashlight on, dude? Kind of don't need it. The alarm seems disabled. Much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Why don't you close the door? Don't be a dick. They look like travel guides. 
Jesus. I like that. I, I just like it when games give you a lot of shit to inspect. You know what I mean? The clock marks 12. Guess it needs to fix it. It's not closed. Got the door. No, it's not where the music's coming from, he says. Always be familiar with your surroundings. Those paintings are depressing. I'd never put them up in my place. It's a freaking... It's a train. What's depressing about a train? Unless it's an Amtrak, then it's a freaking train wreck. <laughs> That's weird. What are all these suitcases doing here? Creepy music box. That's that's your first clue to get out. Let me get the music box going. Nice record player. Looks vintage. <laughs> All these books were written by Husher. They must be first editions. Still them shits, man. First editions? She. So you actually have to move your head a little bit to see what you need to investigate. That deer's head is almost as big as I am. So yeah, because deers are, can get pretty big. This definitely seems like the kind of game where there's going to be some collectibles or hidden shit. Like, what are you going to examine the plant? There's a lot of record players around here. It's like the third one I've seen. Jam a tune. What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. I always wanted a grand piano, but... I would never be able to afford that shit. Even if I could, where the hell would I put it? Where my kids wouldn't freaking destroy it. There's something on that doorknob. It's an old letter for some fucking reason. Documents and items. You had found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing E. To examine the backside, use my mouse. First letter from Isaac Farber. A letter for Husher. Found by Daniel in the author's mansion. Ah, there we go. Good. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit we're all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing. Something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say, ear. The melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen to it for yourself. I had never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. Okay, so where's the... Give me some enclosed information, bruh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Itchy, scratchy. Look in the mirror. You always gotta look in the mirror, man. Man, that mirror's dirty. Show sure enough. Creak. I love these. For real, I, I, I kind of miss the whole fixed camera deals, but it's not really fixed because it is moving. Mm -hmm. A matchbox. Can't think of any reasons to burn the house down yet. Dude, you better take them damn matches, because you or somebody's going to need them. Okay. Uh, I guess we just missed the damn music box. I guess I could have gone through the door where we found the letter, yeah? Seems legitness. In here. Wait, which door did I not go through? I think maybe it was this one. Yeah, here we go. What the? How can there be a door there? 
Don't go fucking with it, bro. Jesus. Just leave well enough alone. This radio has to be older than me. And are those rifles real? This dude's got a lot of shit. Like, a lot, a lot of shit. There's a classical music album on the record player. Don't do it to you. I mean, I mean, just look at the door. Why, why would you go through it? First of all, it's the era of the door is wrong. And you have, like, black rot around the door. Look, I'm just throwing it out there. If I was in an old-ass house like this with all this random shit, listening to music box music, looking for a dude that was missing, finding a door that couldn't possibly be there, that had bolts, rusty-ass nails, and everything like it is, and it was rot around the side, I would personally be quite concerned. Concerned enough that I would not go in. Jesus, loud. Man, you gone now too. Dead. Dead as soon as I went through that freaking door, bro. He's gone. Hardly taking a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. Hi, Bobby. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Damn that music Trapped box. in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Should've known by looking at the door, dumbass. Should've known. What up, Bobby V? That's you. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place. Don't and do if it. I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. Doing some chores, watching some streams. Day's going pretty good, man. Any day I get to come out here and stream for y'all is a pretty fantastic day. And we got a new game, playing some Song of Horror. Oh shit. So we got Sophie van Donund. 40. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity. 
she has always longed for. Man, she got stats, speed, stealth, strength, serenity. Serenity? When you have serenity as a stat. Her light source is scented candles. Okay. See, I don't know. I don't know what these buttons down here do. Am I, what am I? Let's push this one. Wait, I get to pick a character? Alina Ramos. Alexander Leskin. Oh, I guess we get to pick. Or Etienne Bertrand. This light source is a lighter. I don't, I don't know about that. Okay, so the... I guess Daniel was the first guy we are playing, and now he's missing. So we can pick... Uh, apparently this is his ex-wife. Let's see. Okay, so she's tech support for like an alarm system. This dude is. Okay, he's one of the housekeepers of the house that we were in. Okay. And then this is, uh, I guess it's his boss at the end. So who do we want to play, Bobby? Bobby, audio, solitaire, whoever is out there watching. Which one of those characters do we wish to play? What do you think, Squish? Yeah, you don't know. You're a cat. You don't know what's going on. What do you think? Who shall it be? Cigar smoking Etienne Bertrand. Peaceful scented candle Sophie. The always late cable lady Alina Ramos. Or the dude that belongs to Jumanji, Alexander Laskin. I'm not sure which. I'm leaning toward Etienne. But his light source is a freaking lighter. See, two of these people use freaking candles. Lighter. Candle. Flashlight. You know what? I'm going to pick her just because she has a flashlight. Seems legit. Flashlight. As a light source. Squish. Scouts. What are you doing down there? You're supposed to be up here. Streaming with me. Squish. You come up? You stream with me? No? You're too lazy to jump? Screw you, hippie. September 28th, 1998. That's the year I graduated high school. And joined the Air Force. Hmm. Alright, Ramos. You're probably the only smart one because you've got a damn flashlight and a walkie talkie. But I need to know why she's here. Oh, yeah, there was an alarm system at the front door, wasn't there? I don't know why she would just randomly be investigating it, though. The Husher Mansion. Somebody called tech support. The door was open. Were they waiting for me? Hmm. There's your alarm system. Get that shit working. Here we got the alarm controls, but it looks like the electricity isn't reaching it. Oh. Well, there's a big long cable outside, but I don't know where it went to. Meow, squishy. You're just gonna bust in, go into somebody's bathroom. Hmm. Try the new update for Fallout? Uh, rich Fallout. The immediate answer to your question is no. I, I haven't done any Fallout lately. So fill me in, brother. A closed suitcase that looks like it's filled with clothes. Yes, uh, excuse me. Nope. Oh, we just got Resident Evil already. Locked from the other side. room? 
When Rosa and I were little, our family moved to Lima from Pueblo. So it looks like, no, that's, that's a workbench. Added legendary perks, daily ops, and one wasteland overhaul. What do you mean, one wasteland overhaul? Water functioning, upper panel, shut down, press the left button, start, push the center, emptying, press the right. In case of malfunction, preventing the correct, wait, push E to read, there we go. In case of malfunctioning, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Sure. Mm -mm. The boiler is in here. The problem is that it's not getting electricity. Okay, so it's still not the room we were looking for. Okay, so we know where the boiler's at. Am I gonna remember where the boiler's at? No, probably not. That was locked from the other side. That's squishy. You know what we should try and figure out? We should try and figure out if we have a map. Let's see, can M be map? I for inventory? I I for inventory. Examine in Murray, what do we got? Definitely a 90s radio. Use it. Combine it. No, let's not combine it. Okay, let's see. Um, Yes, Squish, Jesus, I love you. Out my face, bro. Uh, where's, did I miss controls? Uh, no, tutorials. Uh, documents and items. Seriously? No. Am I crazy crazy? Did I just not see it? I guess not. Okay, well, we're going to go through the buttons. P O I, I does inventory, U Y T R E S F. F turns on and off the flashlight. Shit. <laughs> Squish. Damn it, I hate it when you do that. I hate it when he just flops down on my freaking desk because he ends up pushing a whole bunch of shit. Okay, I guess I'm leaning toward we don't have a map. Did we go through this one? I don't think we did. No, yes, that is the one we went through. Wait, er, hold up. Mierda. This door's locked with a key. Wait, hold up. Oh, it goes like under the stairs. That's not creepy at all. This door. Hmm. Allows the enemy creatures levels to adjust to so the better match each player. Its level will summon soon as supervised for a higher level drop for the lower level. Interesting. I'll have to, I'll have to do some Fallout 76 here soonish. Yeah? In between stuff coming out. Wait, is that for me to read? My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately, and I don't want them playing with it. Playing with the key? It is strange that you do not wish your children to play with a key? Only a tortured soul can make paintings like that? I, a train and... I don't even know what that one is. One of them's a freaking train. What? You don't have to be a tortured soul to make a freaking train, do you? Okay, let's try some other rooms. I don't know where the power would be here. Like, I haven't seen any map, quest indicators, nada. I wonder if we're supposed to be going the same place as the other dude went. Okay, we found the kitchen. That's there's something on the counter. 
Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of shit on the counter. It's a freaking kitchen. Mm -hmm. Drawing by Saul. Drawing by the... Oh, he just signed it. Yeah, it's a big piece. Oh, she took it. Look at those sparks. The puddle must be screwing with the lights in the house. Wait. There's like no electric on though. Okay, we don't have anything. What do we need? Like a dish rag? Ring. A metal ring. Huh? The ring is made of iron. I am not so sure where it comes from. What, the ring or the iron? What is she talking about? Uh, nope. It would be silly to try that, she says. Okay, she doesn't need the ring. Guess we need something to clean up. Spill? She ain't got no bounty paper towels laying around here? Oh, yeah, COVID. You know, they're out of paper goods everywhere for reasons. Because people suddenly need way more paper towels and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, they locked this door with a key. Boom. Boom. See, this looks like it might be the location of the power box. Hmm. All this artificial stuff. Where's the fresh food? Ooh, what do we got? Uh huh. A rusty can of motor oil. Oh. Wait, did she, is she picking this shit up? Yes, okay, so she took the ring and the motor oil. I don't know that she's supposed to be robbing this person. <laughs> Listening at doors. Was that a noise? You better take a look before you go back out. To press your ear against the door, walk up to it. And hold the right click. Oh shit! Here we go. What was that? What if we just went out? Seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happened on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons. Okay, so I guess we got our map now. Push E for or M for map. Good. If there's someone at home, I'd rather not bother them. Oh yeah, they they something at home. Maybe not someone. Okay, that was locked. That was the pantry. I'm guessing by the, you know, the noise on the other door, it wanted us to just to get used to the listen mechanic. All right, let's take a look at this map here. So we got the kitchen, the dining room, hallway. The, I like that they call it the WC, the old water closet, the garage. Still no sign of somewhere where I could turn on the power. Didn't see it in the garage. the big old doors. Continue our quest. Someone in the house loves chess, I think. True story. Just because someone has a chess board definitely does not mean that they love chess. Okay, there weren't any rooms over there. be funny if she got arrested for home invasion and when they searched her they found like the old iron ring and motor oil that she took from the house and like what the hell were you going to do with this who steals motor oil and a rusty ring bum, 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 bum. spooky shit going down here squish da -da 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 -da. It's just 
shit, we just went in a big circle. Dining room, let's check the far doors. Maybe the power room's upstairs. I think going upstairs was an option. Thought I heard footsteps besides mine own. Mierda. It's locked, of course it is. Both of these doors go out to the hall. And this goes to the living room. Okay, we need to check the door straight across from this door when we get to the other side. Should be a door right on the other side. Yep. Okay, there we go. It's, uh, uh oh, I could have listened. Okay, we have not been in here yet. The globe looks so old. And I could throw it on the floor so easy. Why would she be prompted to say that, though? Ah, this must be the dude's burrow where they kept the key. Technical books and many languages. Oh, I've seen these swords in the comics from Japan. I have you now. Okay, there should be a key. Mm. I'm not gonna get that drawer open if I don't grease it. Gee, um, hint, hint to use your rusty oil can. with a thumpy thumpy. What crazy shit's going down? Looks like an old key. It was jammed. It, it was in the jam drawer in the library. Hmm. Okay. Got that, but no indication of what it unlocks. the door in the kitchen. Jeez. Freaking phone. What is it with... All these phones. The phone. Should I? I mean, you should just because I don't want to hear the phone keep freaking going. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I can't understand anything. We can't leave my room. What? What the? She just hangs up on him? Oh my god, what a bitch. A child? Like, sorry kid. You call somebody else. <laughs> First of all, you answered the phone at somebody else's house. And it was... Basically a kid asking for help and you just hang up on her. Wow. Wow, that's the level of tech support I expect from people. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Wow, Rosa, you are one cold hearted. She just goes about her business. Okay, we had... Oh, yeah, we had a locked door in the dining room and a locked door in the kitchen. Let's... Let's try the one in the dining room first. Was it this door that was locked? No. It should be directly across. This one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's locked. You will need the key. Use this one. The master key. The key fits. Well, it's a. It was literally named Master Key. Oh, no. This is where Dudo disappeared. Oh, the door's not there, though. Okay, got a screwdriver. It's good. 
This whole room stinks like tobacco. I don't like where this music's going. Book on demonic rituals on the couch. No, no big deal. Read. I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when it came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. And then Saul said, I saw the weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, and I will hide the five dolls, too. Even if they get mad at me, I'll bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her, and another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. So we're looking for five dolls? What up, Mr. Jack Joke? Cool, this so far? I haven't been told a whole lot. So this... Oh, shit. <laughs> Squish. So the game started off. We were playing as Daniel. And Daniel was went, went to find Mr. Husher, whose house this is. Because Mr. Husher is missing. And this is the Husher Manor or Mansion or whatever you want to call it. And then our dude Daniel went into a door and got trapped into Eternal Nightmares or some shit. And now we're playing Rosa, a cold-hearted alarm technician, I think her deal is. And that's where we're at so far. Nothing particularly spooky has happened yet. So you may be just in time. Hello. Is there anyone there? Rosa, you should get the f out of there. Am I holding E? Pushing and blocking, something is trying to get in. Make sure that the door does not open. To gather your strength, repeatedly press E. Once you feel strong enough to push and block the door, press space. No matter what happens, make sure you keep it shut. Oh shit. Slam that shit. Come on! You're a strong Latino woman. Slam that shit. Oh my god. Yeah! Plus 10 to bravery for freaking Rosa. The door being extra careful. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. Spooky indeed. I I'm hope. Who pushed that door? What's happening? You ask him. She just asks all the wrong questions. That is not a who. That is not a who. If I saw that shit, like twenty dark demon Wendigo looking hands trying to push open a fucking door, I wouldn't be asking who. I'd be asking what the fuck was that? What in the? if that means it moved away or what what did we get from the office did we get some we got the screwdriver and we still got a master key uh, let's go 
Back to the kitchen. Probably a wild Florida man. Fucking Florida man, dude. Okay, so we still got two locked doors. Let's try... Let's try the kitchen first. Just a thought, but shouldn't the kitchen be connected to the dining room? It does seem kind of out of place, right? Or am I crazy? You're afraid someone holds you? No. You're on your own, bro. She need these matches? Mm -hmm. There we go. Got some type 90 matches, man. Does that mean there were 89 types before that, before they got the matches right? Had to be some dumbass matchmakers. I think it was this door that was locked. Oh shit, we can listen. Sounds clear. Uh, nope. You'll hold me, no homo? Full homo, man. Hold me. The key fits. Well, again, it's called the master key, so I kind of expect it to. Let's see, we are... Open an empty wardrobe. I could fit inside of it, in fact. Oh, something tells me you're probably going to need to soon. exploded. Can't be good. What we got here? Firewood! She's just... Okay. So from my understanding of this character, she's here to fix the alarm system, and she's just... just scalping this freaking place, man. Okay, no... No sign here of any kind of power. Maybe it's the room under the stairs. Oh. Uh oh, we got the thumpy thumpy. Where were we? Okay, so we got the pantry. Which takes back to the hallway. I definitely enjoy the music in this, and the ambiance is pretty nice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Twas a stairwell, it was. The alarm panel is right there by the front door, but there's no power, so we gotta figure out how to turn on the power. I think this might have been the. Oh. One of these days, I'm gonna be listening to the door, and it's just gonna start pounding on that shit and scare the fuck out of me. It would be silly to try that. Ugh. Oh, it's nope. locked from the other side. I was like, wait, why the fuck would it be silly to try the key? <laughs> why is it silly to try the key on a door that's locked? Wait, that one's blocked from the other side. Wait, what is that key icon for? Okay, that goes to the garage. Let's take another look in the garage. I don't think I saw anything in the garage. I'm guessing this is somewhere in Europe. And I'm guessing that because the power apparently may be upstairs. Uh huh. An old metal box, a rusty old metal box, closed shut. Oh, inspect it now. Fuses, but it's closed shut with a screw. It is locked tight with a screw. 
will combine with that shit with that screwdriver. It would be silly to try that. No, no it wouldn't. Chica. Chica, why don't you try that again? Combine. Combine. Uh -huh. There we go. Fuses. Four fuses. They were in an old method box. Okay, fuses. Sounds like a good start. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, this is, the, this is where the boiler was at. Hello, Alpine Gelch. Nice to see ya. We're playing what is hopefully a pretty spoopy game, yeah? We're playing Shang of Horror. Tell your friends. Hide your wife, hide your kids. A bird sitting on a girl covered by a blanket. It is like the bird ripped away her soul. The bird ripped away her soul. Do, 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 do. Let me tell you about this Rosa chick. So the f we were in the uh, the dining room and the phone rang. And it was clearly a little kid that was in danger and needed help. And she just hangs up the phone. That's what kind of person Rosa is. She just hung up on the poor kid and was like, what the? It's like, yeah, what do you? A painting or a mirror must be here normally. It left a mark on the wall. Well, we found lots of dirty-ass mirrors, so... Ah, mm. oh, this man looks so worried. Here it says the painting is from 1634. It's an old mother painting, huh? Somewhere else, I could just sit back, relax, and watch the wind blowing through the trees. But not here. Dude's car is still parked out front. We hear uh, mm -hmm. an image of Catherine, Husher's wife, with their children, Julia and Saul. That's not a concerning picture. Do not look at this photo. Oh dear. I like the glisten on it. Ooh, it's a changey photo, Majos. Spooky. She says, What the? I want some photos that do that, man. You look at them once. Oh shit, I didn't listen. Uh, nope. Okay, seems okay. It seems okay? Seems okay. Let's try the master key. The key fits, as a master key should. Look at that old ass tea. Oh yeah, they did say it was 1998. Oh shit. It's totally dark in there. I can't see a thing. Cause the fucking door's shut. I am curious how the characters work. Like, if I open that door. Does she die and then we have to pick a different character? Let's just look, just sit back and watch some freaking TV. Let's aggravate the spirit by ringing the doorbell. I think that switches for the lights in the inside bedroom. If I could turn the electricity back on in the house. Well, what the hell do you think I've been trying to do? Survey says, hell no. Survey says, we ain't opening that door. Live a little bit longer with Big Red. Oh dear, look at this shit. What are we in here? What 
is that dark stuff. It's the same stuff that what's her name was made out of in Resident Evil 7. Inca figurines. I could recognize them with my eyes shut. Why? It's not racist. It's not racial profiling at all. Sorry to say you're not my lurker. You say hi when you come in. That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with the lurkage. Of course, you gonna stream with me at some point during the stream? You're supposed to be my cuddle buddy, dude. What if I get scared? Oh shit, what we got? Mm -hmm. Remote control, your standard garage door remote control. The button seems a bit worn down. Well, it's a good thing you're a repair technician, huh? Just have a seat in the chair. Uh -huh. A landscape with no soul, she says. It's, no, that's too small to be the missing thing. <laughs> okay. A wooden filing cabinet. Dictionaries, encyclopedias. Put your thumpy thumpies. That piece of busted metal jammed the door. Do we got some pliers? What do we got? So we got firewood, fuses, a ring, matchbox, controls, key, and walkie talkie. Don't believe any of that's going to help us remove a piece of rusted metal. Your friend would like it? Yeah, we're still pretty much at the uh, beginning of the game. I could hide under this table if it is necessary. Let me let Squish out. Squish is meowing at me. Do you want out? Or are you just too lazy to jump up? Which one is it, dude? Okay, come on. Do you need to poop, Mr. Squish? You need someone to squat and go, eh? Squat and go, come on. Better out there than in my office, I always say. <laughs> you know what? Let's turn off the overlay because it ain't never done me much good anyway. Let's see, overlay. Let's do the sponsor banner. There we go. There we go. Make the stream a little less distracting since you know we're playing a horror game. Gotta keep the gotta keep the the feel, bro. Continue. It's definitely. Look at those heavy ass curtains, man. Like to me, that's one of the creepiest things you can have in a house. I don't I don't know what it is. Just I find very heavy curtains to be very disconcerting. door. You know what? Let's try this door. Looks like it goes out into the balcony. Maybe here I don't have to worry about crows freaking attacking me. It's going to be hard to turn on the floodlight if I don't plug it in. We'll plug it in. Plug it in. Hmm. If I had some clips for the battery post, I could get the flood... Who has a floodlight in their house that's just running off of a car battery sitting next to it? What in the... Grill tongs. Uh oh. Guess the baby escaped. Maybe we can use that to pull that piece of metal out the door, huh? Happy anniversary. With a lit candle. That's not good. Rosa, sit down. Yeah, that lit candle, it's not a good sign. Especially since I've been running around with a flashlight for like the last 30 minutes. I never in my life have met someone that had a house like this with a balcony that they used like a garden. Maybe they just don't hang in the right circles. Man, I hate them. 
Dear Sebastian, I wanted to tell you firsthand that I will be taking some much needed time off, which means that the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I wanted to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on our door. My daughter is currently traveling, and I must confess I can't keep up with her everyday demands on my own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. As soon as she's back, we will open for business again. Rest assured, you will be the first to know. I hope you feel better by then. Please give my warmest regards to your family. Sincerely, Isaac Faber. Isaac Faber. Faber blah 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 blah. There's a file right there. Get that shit. I can't though. Oh, I forgot to listen. That's gonna. It's gonna be the death of me one of these days. It's just an old record player. Scaffold goes here. It's an elevation plan of the Husher Mansion. Erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, and check old pipes. Alright. Well, certainly. Damn it, I did it. Uh, oh. Nope. Hello, ma'am? Here's the thing. What is with her, I need to find a way to get in there. It said it was locked from the other side, which means whoever is in there can come out and kill me. Hmm. No, I haven't looked at the new Conan expansion at all, Madros. I really didn't even give it a look. I did it again. Damn it. I've really got to get in the habit of listening at the doors. Is it something I should look into? Bunch of paint. Oh, great. Photos on freaking clips. What up with that? They closed the trap door. To open it, you need something to pull on that thing up there. Okay. We're not going to address all the... Creepy photos on the wall. Yo, if I run into whatever the hell it is here, I am freaking done for because I don't have anywhere to go. I'm guessing the thumpy thumpy means I'm okay. Yeah, if I got trapped in there, man, I, I don't have anywhere I could have could have gone. Holy shit, it's in three. What's up, brother? We're playing Song of Horror. A game I uh, saw on Steam nope. and thought it looked pretty good. I like how I'm listening to the doors I have not been able to open. Telling you, one of these days in three, I'm gonna put my ear up to one of these doors and she's gonna be like, Wah! and scare the fuck out of me. Just waiting for it. What we got here. Mini bathroom products not opened yet. Maybe they're for the guests. A dishcloth, a dirty dishcloth. Maybe we can go fix the wires downstairs. That's what was there. Don't do it. Don't open the shower curtain. Here's the story. My wife likes to keep the shower curtain closed, and I absolutely cannot stand it. Let's see if we can go back down to the kitchen. So we got some grill tongs, which maybe we can use to pull a bolt out of a door. I thought maybe we could have used the screwdriver for that, but that wasn't the case. Gurgling and shit. Is it this way to the kitchen? Yes. So let's see if we can 
hook this up with the, the dish cloth. Dish cloth. Use it. Seems like it shouldn't have been that hard to, to do that. Okay, so supposedly that should have fixed some lights. Here's the thing, she set the powers out this whole time, but there was a live wire right there in a puddle of water that she just cleaned up with no issue. So does whatever this thing is just move through the house? Wait, what the hell was through here? Uh, okay. There wasn't much here, but... Shit. Saint Cecil? Is that a freaking a freaking furnace? Okay, seems clear. Okay, I don't know what fixing those wires actually fixed. I don't see any lights on or anything. Still haven't found the freaking power room either. Oh, I thought I heard the thumpy thumpy. Yeah, this this game seems like a nice mix of like Resident Evil and Visage. So I'm digging it. So far pretty good. Okay, we got a garage door opener, but again, there's no power. There wasn't much in the garage. Maybe back upstairs. Overall, you like the main map more? Uh, well, that's kind of disappointing, actually. You figure since they finally finally did an expansion map that it would be better than the main map, right? Guess not. Okay, so there were three things here we needed to use. Uh, there was something stuck in the lock at the study. The balcony, we needed something for the battery. What was that other... What was, what was here at the last door on the right that we needed to do? ability for mice to make custom maps interesting oh yeah this was so we could uh, pull open the roof hatch okay so we got the roof hatch we got a piece of metal stuck in a door maybe we can use the tongs to pull that out I let's go try I love all the I, I love these kinds of games Mainly because of all the just the background sounds and ambiance, you know what I mean? Let's try grill tongs. I'm not gonna hook onto it with this. Okay, no. Um, ring. Let's try the. Oh, my screwdriver's gone. Okay, I guess we don't need the freaking screwdriver anymore. If I could stick this ring together with this piece of metal some way. Okay, so apparently we do use the ring some way. Uh, combine the tongs with nope. the ring. <laughs> I can't think of a way that would work either, but damn it, it was worth a try. So clearly I need to combine the ring with mm -hmm. something. What though? I have no freaking idea. NZ Master Key? Uh, nope. That combination makes no sense. Work with me, woman. I could hide if necessary. Oh 
shit, we're kind of boxed in here, so you might have to. Yeah, so we gotta get that piece of busted metal out. But I don't know what we would mix with the ring to make that happen. So clearly we missed something along the way. Oh, she got, she got her light Resident Evil jog, okay. What would we use on this? Metal tongs, I think, could hit the terminals, right? Uh, nope. All I'm going to do with that is make a short circuit in the battery. I like that they made certain prompts for when you use certain items. I like it when games pay attention. Well, maybe we can... we got the, the remote for the garage. Go try that. Had I thought about it, we would have done it before we went back freaking upstairs. So if I can hear that thing through the walls that come to me, I wonder if it can hear me too. No, turn around. Go down. I would assume so. I've also seen a couple of dusty mirrors I think might work for the missing thing upstairs. I don't know if the mirror goes there. Picture. I did see a round mirror. Huh? The mirror dirty as hell. I can hardly see myself. Ah! Holy shit. What? What? What just happened? Don't let it hear that you're fucking in there, chica. literally all this thing has to do to kill me is be quiet while I'm listening and then just destroy me. Okay, this one was locked from the other side. Oh, shit. Okay. So I think this entity just roams around the house and we've just been fortunate thus far not to run into it. What the hell? And here I was thinking, hey, yeah, let's go open the fucking garage. Why not? It'd be a great idea. Shit. <sighs> I don't get the electricity on. This will be of no use. Okay, so yeah, we can't open the garage. There's the boiler behind us. We got some firewood I think we can put in it. Okay, have not found anything yet that would pass as an electric room. Store at all? Nope. It's locked. Uh, I guess we have not. Mm -hmm. The door is open. I don't need. Okay, so we've opened everything that we need to with this key. That's good. So we just. Oh, shit. That should just lock behind us. Rosa, don't do it. like the grudge sinister and the conjuring all in all in freaking one there's a note stuck in the safe dill julia if you found this note congratulations you're one step closer to solving the puzzle i've prepared for you i hope it keeps you entertained while i'm away i've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination 
Since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address, Saul's age, the decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs, right next to the staircase, was painted. Good luck, mighty inspector. Hugs and kisses from Daddy. Fuck you, Daddy. Fuck you right in your bootay for doing such devious shit to your daughter. Kind of sick are you? This painting is from 1945. It's so sad. Dead dude? I don't I can't really tell too much what it is. Hmm. Hey, what's up, gaming lawyer? You, you know, same thing here. I I I'll tell you what, I just randomly saw it on God damn it. I just randomly saw it on Steam. It was like, you know what? It looks like the right mix of Resident Evil and Visage. I give it a try. And so far, it's pretty nice. You know, I mean, using nice as a descriptive term for a horror game. <laughs> Which brings me to my next question. Have you played Visage? So we are playing Rosa, the alarm technician, who has taken many things out of this home that she shouldn't have taken. Either by design or because I personally stole it. But you do get to choose a character after the first bit of the game. I think this wardrobe is empty. I sure I could fit inside. Ah, finally, here we go. Fuses blew out. Nice, finally. Find the place for the fuses. Oh, a puzzle. Should you play Visage? Yes! Yes! I have watched many 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 horror movies and I've played as many horror games as I could find and out of all of that the scariest thing has been Visage it's still early access but they got two out of three I think they're doing three chapters but they got two out of three chapters done and they are both really really good and really scary. I think Majros watched me play through it, and Stormy did too. It's it's good. I it is my number one recommend as far as horror games go. Ugh. Okay, let's use the ten. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me crap, does it? So I got a twenty-five, a fifteen, a thirty. Okay, so I gotta figure out maybe where the wires are going. Maybe if I plug them all in, it'll do something. Damn, I put them in the wrong place. Need to adjust the current so that each cylinder has the right amount. Okay, maybe I just wasn't looking at it right. Okay, it looks like I got red wires on the top right. I think. It, it's so dingy, it's a little hard to tell the colors. See, like, I, I read this one as green, and that one kind of is green, too. See, this one looks yellowish to me. I don't know, it looks like there's a blue wire and a green wire. See, that one's blue, but neither of these particularly look blue to me. Put them in the wrong place. All right, maybe we should actually track. Actually, I have an idea. Uh, examine. Yeah, like two of them are green. 
Now, I am not an electrician, so... Hmm. October's only 10 days away. Oh, um... I don't know if you played Man of Medan and Until Dawn. Oh, Until Dawn is definitely my second scariest game that I've played. Oh my god. The Wendigos? Fantastic. But, so we had Until Dawn, Man of Medan, and 30 October, Little Hope comes out. I don't know if you were tracking that one. Yeah, there's really... Maybe I'm just not seeing it, but I don't see a whole lot of indication. The only thing I can see here is the colors, but... Hmm. Yes, I think Until Dawn is an exclusive. Okay, we thought this one was blue last time. Yeah, if you guys see what, you know, kind of is hinted here, by all means let me know. Like, this one has two red wires going to it. This one's got two green. Can't really tell where the cords end up on the left there. Yeah, I, I think Until Dawn's PS4 exclusive. Let's try that one. Um, try this one up here. This one is maybe the yellow, and this one is the red. Wait, I need to adjust the current so that each cylinder has the right... Okay, well... Kind of not... I think this one's going to be mostly guesswork. Am I supposed to be adding them together? Hold up. You do terrible with puzzles on stream, dude, but you, you and me both, man. It's like my brain just shuts down. Well, I'm looking at the top boxes up there, and there's like nothing written on them. I got the three fuses there on the left that says 25, 50, and 30. And I got four freaking fuses, so... Okay, so the box up top on the right has red and green going into it. The middle box has green and yellow going to it. And the one on the left has three wires going to it. Okay, I think I kind of see what has to happen here. So the two boxes here on the right go to the same node on the right. So that is probably my lowest number. See, I don't know if the boxes on the right correspond to the fuses over here, right? Let's, let's assume that they do. I, I don't know that I mean, if I were wiring this shit, that would make sense to me. But again, definitely not electrician. So let's add the two on the right to 30. So let's say 20 and the 10 here. That's stream maths for you. Okay, the box in the middle has two wires that need to add up to 50. So we got 30. Okay, so that... Wait, which one is it adding to? Okay, it's, it's adding the bottom and the top and bottom left to go on the box on the left. Which makes me think the fuses don't correspond to the boxes at the top. So like the, I don't think the leftmost box is the leftmost fuse. Because I don't have the fuses that would, everything would bust 25 if that were the case. Yeah, let me restart this. Okay, let's work the box on the left that has to add up to 50. 
So if I do 20, no, hang on. Let's do these three, 10, 15, and the 25. So 10, 15, and we'll try, see one of the fuses by itself is 25. I think the tin needs to go over here somewhere. What kind of dev makes a puzzle like this? Like, I, I get the gist of it. I'm just struggling with basic fucking math, right? So one of the three boxes up there has to come out to 25. Okay, this one that I have highlighted goes into the leftmost box that I think has to add up to 50 because it's got three freaking wires. I don't think it could feasibly add up to 30. So let's do 10 there. Looks like the 30A is connected to the bottom left. I, I don't... I was thinking about that, but I really don't think... I don't think the fuses on the left, I, I, I don't think you're meant to be able to tell what wires go. I'm just running with the assumption that the far left box up there, since it has three wires going into it, that that one is gonna add up to 50. Okay, one of these also has to be just 25. But there's two wires running into it. How the hell does it just come out to 25. Okay, I think that's, I think that's right because we got the 10 and the 15 and that should be the, the right box, should equal just 25. But then again, if we, oh shit. Uh, if we look at this box here, it only has the one wire going to it. So the middle could be the 25. Shit. I mean, there's only four. I could, I have a pretty good chance of just guessing it in the time that would take me to also, you know, legitimately figure it out. <laughs> Is blue just a ground? Very unlikely for this puzzle. Okay. So this isn't gonna be right because 25, because the green's running to the middle one and the yellow's running to the middle one, which is 40. So that right there is wrong. Let's say that the 10 goes here as a no that the two on the right could also be the 30 let's assume that the center is the 25 okay so based on that 10 here and 15 here that covers the center box is being the fuse for 25. So the one on the right should be 30, which I can't really hit. Wait. Maybe if I switch these two, maybe if I do the 15 here and the 10 here. Yeah, because then I could put the 20 right... Okay, hang on. Let me visualize it. So 10, 
What did I say I was going to put in the bottom left? To 15. Okay, so that makes the middle one 25. And if I put this one here, the right would be the 30. I'm just going to assume. Nope! Son of a bitch! That was in incorrect, Tatis. Well, let me just say hell with it. I figured it would be worth a go, you know? So let's do 10, 15, 20, 25. Son of a bitch. It's even got a puzzle icon, assholes. Switch the top two. Okay, so let's do 25. I had put... Well, see, that makes... That would make the box on the right 35. Hang on, hang on. Let's adjust a little bit. So let me just plug this. Hang on. Okay, so that makes the right 25. This makes center 30. And we did this combination already. Okay, so 10, 25, and 25 would be 50. I put the fuses in right. That should get the main electrical system running. Okay, there we go. Am I crazy? I, I feel like that is exactly what we just did. And it told us that we were wrong. Okay, clearly I got something goofed in my head because that was correct. Okay, so the fuse is... Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't leave without turning the fucking power on. Hey, Let there be some fucking light in this place. I came to fix the electricity. But that doesn't seem like the most important thing right now. Yeah, you think it's the fucking hand that just poured the cabinet giant... Investigate. No, don't investigate. Okay, so whatever this thing, is, this entity is, it does not give a shit about light. What is this? There's nothing I can use here. Okay. I don't think I can need any of the paintings. So here's the safe that I have no information on. I don't think I've found any of the pertinent clues. So it must be eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I swear to God if this is right. Mierda. The code I entered worked. <laughs> I just had the 10 and the 15 switched. Ah, I see. Well, we got it. Thank giggity. I keep forgetting we can use shift and move a wee bit faster. Just got that Resident Evil saunter. It's not quite the run, it's just a saunter. Okay, so power's on. What do we need to do? Garage. Next step, let's do the garage. It's nice to hear stuff other than strange footsteps and whispers. Hmm. The boiler is running. It's very damp around here. Oh, maybe because the pipes are leaking. We'll turn, flip the fucking switch, yo. Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, great. Haven't I had enough of freaking puzzles? I think it said hold the blue switch for four seconds to reset it. Okay, we at least turned the damn thing off. Let me read these again. In case of malfunction preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Okay, we did that. Shut down, push to the left, start, push the center, and emptying, push to the right. No. 
uh, I don't know much about boilers either, so you don't need to turn on the heating. Oh, okay, just wanted to uh, shut it down, huh? Okay, last time we were here, we heard some loud growling noises, a dog go ark, and why not? Never good when you open a garage door and hear carnival music, huh? Battery clamps. Okay, I think I know where we need that. Oh shit, is that a swing swinging on its own? Oh man, lucky bastard's got a sandbox. You kidding me? I would like to think that the evil within the house can't get me, but, you know. Okay, so our Chick Rosa here is from Padu. Because she's mentioned it like 40 times as I've examined stuff. I guess they use the tools to fix up the yard, you think? There's a dirty hoe there, just like me. Seems clear. They bolted the lock here. Seems like a servant's entrance. Bolted the lock. All right, well, I have neither bolt cutters nor key. No key, no bolt cutters. All I got to my name is a set of cables. Just leave, Rosa. Just hop that shit and don't look back. I have to hand it to her for her dedication. Like, were I... Oh, there is a doghouse. Were I in the same situation? Hearing every... From what I heard and saw in this house, the moment I was permitted to leave the house, you better bet I would have jumped that shit and not looked back. So it's either dedication or just sheer stupidity that Madame Rosa here remains in this home. We went in the bathroom, and it was not the circular mirror that... We're also looking for a round mirror, maybe. What was this room? Or was this the bathroom? Okay, this was the bathroom that we checked. Got it. I saw what I thought was a round mirror somewhere, maybe in the kitchen. really have to remember to look at the door before I open it so I can hit that listen because pretty sure it's going to save my ass one of these days. Wait, maybe that mirror was in the dining room. You know, we never did go down here. We did with the other character, but not her. Dead plant... Also looking for anything that would tip us off to Saul's age or something of that nature. Still want a grand piano one of these days. Feel free to donate toward the grand piano fund. This was the daddy with a flickering light. Yeah, we're good. So here's where we lost the first dude, like, there was a door here. He went in and got trapped in Eternal Nightmare. I don't actually know that I was supposed to go through the door with the first character. Oh shit, we got the thumpy thumpies. person has a lot of old shit. Like this mirror. This I think this is the one I was looking at earlier. Can't even see myself in the mirror. Okay, I guess that wasn't right. What 
Is there something else here we need to... Okay, that goes to the kitchen. Okay, we got the side porch. I guess we could just go upstairs since we got the battery clamps because we were trying to turn on the floodlight outside as well for I actually don't know what reason holy shit yo just no no she don't don't go down the stairs oh shit starting to get deep yeah we need to find something circular to go here be it a painting a mirror don't know haven't found it yet. Holy hell. Don't you flicker at me, lights. Don't you flicker at me. Ah! Jesus. Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Once you've interacted with the hiding place, it will appear on the map. Time is short. To run, hold shift. There's a wolf over here. They're hiding that shit like <laughs> meow. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Keeping calm, you manage to hide from the darkness. It just don't look like we hide from the fucking darkness. The darkness is just there with us. But the worst is yet to come. So why did we hide? To calm down, follow the rhythm of your heartbeat by pressing space. When the white border reaches the center of the circle, don't let your heart beat too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. You game. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, Rosa. Slow that heartbeat. Bitch, it just said don't look at it. Holy Lord. <laughs> what just happened? Everything seems to be back to normal. Have I lost my mind? Like, now she's too calm. Like, who, even if I got the QTE right to calm her down, why would you be that calm after everything went back to normal? I'd be like, fuck it. I'm out. Peace. Bye. Fix your own am alarm or call somebody, call the Ghostbusters to do it. That <laughs> scared your bird. <laughs> scared me. Like, okay. If I ever make a game, my number one priority of making said game is going to be to make the characters react how I legitimately think they would react. Like, back there in the yard, when I had an opportunity to jump the fence, you better bet your ass I would have a secret ending where you jumped the fence, said, get, and just went home. And the character lived happily fucking after. You know what I mean? Like, were I Rosa, I would be horrified. I, a grown 40-year-old man, I would probably be in tears if that just happened to me. And Rosa here is just like, eh, I'm good. Holy shit. This, God, this is a kid's room? drawing done by Husher's youngest child. Well, they need... or definitely need... Ooh. They said something about a key being in a dollhouse. Like, what's with the... Hmm. Do not see any doll to place here. Oh, uh, I think I need to put the dolls. So I believe us to also be looking for five dolls. Complicated toys and so ugly. That's the first time we've had to run and hide from freaking something. From the fucking darkness that clearly saw us. But hey, we remained calm, so it's all good, right? Oh dear. Just say it, lady. What the f is happening here? Pretty soon you're going to find out what the happened to Carmen San Diego. Bitch dead. She gone. 
She is dead and gone, dead and gone. Ooh, you're gonna get killed by a specter. All right, turn on the floodlight. Superhuman hearts, for real. The battery is already connected to the floodlight. We'll turn that, I don't know why we would need to turn it on. The floodlight can be turned on if I grabbed it by the handles. Come on, don't be, don't be like that. Wait. Okay, yeah, we're in the right so I was like, wait, what the hell? Oh, focus light. Burn that shit away. Oh. Don't bust it, Chica. Okay, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. What the hell is that? Maybe it is what I'm supposed to do. See, I hear it, but... Aha! Aha! My golly! We forking did it. So it kind of reacts to light, but not much. Been staring at the inky darkness for too long. The old you's dead and gone. These photos seem modern to me. I think they took them in black and white on purpose. Oh, hold up, Chica. What we got? Uh -huh. Say? Masha's key. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. A service key that belongs to Masha, the housekeeper. Okay, so probably the room outside. Julia. Oh, shit. Nope. You, Julia. I just picture these kids looking like the Red Queen from the Resident Evil movie. You're all going to die down here. We're going to call that one a pass, sports fans. Quiet door equals a good door. Okay. Oh, what a nasty smell. Hmm. It stinks. The toilet is totally clogged. Pigs, man. Hmm. Two precious for the kids. A note we found said something about one of the dolls watching mommy in the shower and one of the dolls guarding the door. They moved the shelves to here. Well, move the shelves not to there. Eh, like, I, I don't know how the other characters work in this game. Like, could I go through this whole game with this one character? I'm not sure how it works. Or if she, if she dies, do I, do I pick another character until I run out and go until I run out of characters? I'm not sure entirely how it works. Hmm. Poster of Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. Julia and Saul's recording. September 14th, 98. Look at that shit, yo. Mommy's really scared. I didn't mean to move. I can't hide in there. Holy fuck. and Bravlia. Stop it. We will finish ah. looking around. Super glue! Ah, maybe we can use the ring and the super glue to pull that uh, pin out of that other lock. 
Huh? Seems like nothing is inside this. Yeah. So you're asking hide. I didn't even get to listen to the to the recording. You still got it, right? Maybe that was maybe that was the whole recording. Like mummy's really scared. Wait a minute, we have a journal. There we go. Let's try that again. Mummy's really scared. I'm scared too. She's broken all the mirrors in the house. And that song? I hear it everywhere. I wish we'd never listen to it. Something is watching us. Pro tip. Get out of the house. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Get out. I should have listened. Okay, we seem to be all right. God, I hate these blind corners so fucking much. Can I go in here yet? There's something to do in the bathroom? Oh, we gotta unclog the toilet. Okay. Um, I don't think we have anything to do that. Ah, let's use the grill tongs. Yo, I was kidding, but she was actually gonna do it. Okay. Oh, just put that just put that shit right back where you got it. The doll is horrible and torn up all over the place. Combine that shit with some super glue. No, with some matches. Burn that mother. Nope. <laughs> I have no problem burning something as ugly as this doll, but I better not do it while holding it in my hands. Again, I appreciate that they added special dialogue to certain actions that you do. Like, one of the devs thought, you know what? Someone's going to try and combine the matches with this doll. And they were correct. So they put a special message there just for me. Like, yeah, we know you want to burn the doll, but you can't. Not right now, anyway. Okay, let's see if we can use the super glue in the ring. God, I hate these blind corners so much. Not as much as I hate those heavy curtains. Pretty close. Okay, let's try it. Let's try super glue in the ring. Mm -hmm. The bottom half of a key with glue. The bottom half of a broken key. I put glue on the chipped end. Oh, so it's not a ring. Tis a key. Use that shit. Voila. Just like that. Seems clear. How about a squish wheel? Let's do it, man. <laughs> Survey says 10 push ups. I swear. Sure, maybe I should pause this. I should pause this because I don't know. If whatever this entity is just roams, like if I stand there, is the thing gonna come and wreck me? I don't know. I'm not gonna take any chances though, so we're gonna pause that. In fact, this is actually a good conclusion because it's almost freaking 10 o'clock, y'all. It is about 10. Oh, speaking of 10, let's do 10 of these. Oh. Work on that muscular muscular toll. Do, 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 do. So, what do you guys think so far about Song of Horror? It might seem like a good idea to run, but remember you'll draw more attention that way. I see. 
Don't be a G-Law. Keep streaming. What? Oh, what? I wish I could keep streaming, but... <laughs> Papa Neil has to go to work. Papa Neil has to get up at 6 in the a.m. and go to work. But... We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the evening. And we'll continue Song of Horror. I'm enjoying this. And I hope you guys are enjoying oops, enjoying watching it as well. Big proponent of getting adequate sleep. I need my sleepies. I'm not going to call it beauty sleep because clearly it's not doing any good. But I definitely need my sleep. Song of Horror. So far... So far, really good. And we're still on episode one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's got a, it seems like a nice mix of Resident Evil and Visage. Hmm. What kind of loser goes to work? Well, sadly. Sadly, this one, my friend. Hmm. But yeah, we will continue Song of Horror. I, I think we're just going to play this. We're just going to play this until we get through it. Because I love horror games, and there's not enough horror games, and we have a horror game. So, maybe jump a couple good times so far. Had some creepy shit happen. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, Majos Audio, Gaming Lore, and whoever else may be out there in Lurkland, thanks for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow. Gaming Lore, be sure to check out Visage. I, if you ever played that old PT demo on PS4. Visage is like a fully realized full game PT. Except, like I said, it's it's still early access, but two out of three chapters are done, and the two that are done are pretty fucking scary. Pretty damn scary. Definitely gave us some jumps. Anyways, peace, good night, be safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Do 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 do. This guy's missing a head.